Amanda. Amanda. Amanda Adams. Sold. Sold. Hi, I'm David Freeman. Welcome to Amanda Adams Auctions. Yeah, our next auction's on Sunday, the 8th of June at 11 o'clock. Yeah, we've got pretty good art in this auction. Uh, um, one of the, my favourites is the uh, Albert Tucker. Decent size as well, and Albert Tucker's very much in vogue at the moment. And uh, I think we've got about a 20 to 25,000 estimate on it. Very good investment. It's a work by Charles Douglas Richardson. It's the Yarra at Ivanhoe in 1891. The lady who owns this has been passed this down by her grandmother. Uh, her grandmother uh, apparently got this from Charles Douglas Richardson in the 1920s in lure of uh, accommodation. Another little lovely work that came in is the Hans Heysen. I really like this little Hans Heysen. Uh, we've got some really nice works up here by Antonio Tatilio uh, Rubo, a Sydney artist from the early 1900s, I think 1921, the painting. A not, very nice work by uh, John Glover. Uh, from the 19, 1820s. I'll show you a very nice Norman Lindsay. Uh, this is called The Chicken Thief. <laughs> Early uh, watercolour and wash and uh, drawing from about 1900. On this side of the room, we've got a couple of really nice Nolan lithographs. The Kelly series, Ned Kelly in there. Along this uh, side of the room, as we're going along, we've got some really nice Art Deco furniture. Uh, there's some nice Aboriginal works along here. Lovely work by Charles Blackman, coming along on that side. Some nice modern uh, sculpture and ceramics from the 50s, 60s and 70s. Uh, we've got the Arch Cuthbertson, um, very good artist who recently died in the last few years. Lovely work. Got some nice Australian pottery, lovely little thing. Nice little German Art Deco horse. There's some really nice uh, sculptures uh, American and international sculptures. Along this side, we've got a really nice John Olson from 75. Nice collection of Clarice Cliff in that cabinet there. And right behind you, Tony, a rare ninth, late 40s, early 50s uh, Paul Kafka table and Paul Kafka coffee table, boomerang shaped legs. So this is a one off. We're estimating, uh, I think, two to three thousand on it, but where are you going to get another one? It's a very uh, unusual table and, and lovely design. We've got some Art Deco pieces as well in the room. These were uh, unusual. These were presented to uh, a guy by the King of Thailand. So these are a one-off, very unique. And they've got the Thai royal symbols on them, apparently, as well. They are really unusual. They look ideal on the big uh, deco sideboard, don't they? They look beautiful. They really stand no. off. Oh, they do. Some nice international bronzes again. There's a lot of international bronzes on that side of the room as well. And uh, French clocks. You can see them along there. Big pair of French shaved vases as well on that side of the room. Uh, there's some really nice Warcraft. Um, German ceramics, French ceramics, Satsuma. Sterling silver in that cabinet. Bit of Worcester by Stinton. Lovely little piece. Which Stinton is that? This one's Harry Stinton. Is he the cowman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Highland cattle. Can you see that? Really nice things. Now move around to this side. Keep going along this way. Uh, this is a painting by an uh, English artist called Graham Niven. Really unusual. It looks like a spaceship landing in the background. I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be. It's got an exhibition label on the back, so it was exhibited in the early 90s. So it's Sorry, Joe, is, is he related to uh, David Niven? I don't know. Well, we haven't really done much research. It could be. It could be Tony. <laughs> it could be his, his uh, nephew. <laughs> uh, 19th century uh, bureau. And there's, there's a lovely uh, sandstone t and plate glass table. There's an unusual, very unusual blue elephant uh, jardinier. 
Never seen one like that before. Have you seen one like that before, Tony? And it's got a metal liner. Yeah, it's got, it? well, otherwise, if you, oh, don't look that far in it. <laughs> uh, otherwise, oh, that hurts. <laughs> On the, on the table. Otherwise, if you don't have a liner in it, the water's going to leak all the way through it. Because it is for, a, it is for a, a very large plant. I thought it might have been a wine cooler. Um, hmm, I don't know how to take that one. Some really nice uh, carnival glass from a collector. All, all one collector has put all that carnival glass in. Here there's a very big Lalik vase. And there's more Lalik in the uh, cabinet there. Have you? That's beautiful. That's it is a, big. It's a big one. And there's some more Lalique in the cabinet there. Nice, uh, that's from the late 30s. More Lalique down in that part of the cabinet. There's some nice estate jewellery down the bottom. And in fact, there's more jewellery and watches in the bottom of that cabinet. Lots of uh, interesting deco watches in there. We've got a collection of miniatures and uh, coins. But this, is, this is particularly nice, this one. This has got a very unusual sterling silver and enamel frame. Uh, the miniature itself is pretty ordinary, but the frame is very nice, dating from the turn of the century, and the original, uh, original case as well, hide case. That's an uh, image of your great-grandmother there. <laughs> I think it's your great-grandmother. It could be. Oh, isn't she a sweet old darling? Look at her. Look at the face of her. Wouldn't you like to be related to her? I probably am. Okay. <laughs> he, he's, he's a very angry bear. Have a look at him. Look at his teeth. And they're sharp too. <laughs> In this part of the room, we've got a collection of Hummel figurines. Collectors always love these. We've got a very nice ebonised Davenport, late 19th century one. Nice, nice brass uh, mirror from the late 19th century. And what about the paintings? On the oh, area? paintings here. Uh, Gerard Lance feeding the chickens up there. And there's another Gerard Lance watercolour up there. It's a nice one. Close to six foot in height. Uh, arts and crafts style, probably dating from around about 1900, 1910. Lovely work. I love this painting. 19th century French oil painting. Lovely painting. And this is an interesting collection of uh, um, tins and lolly jars from the 1920s uh, onwards. Uh, along here as well. Interesting vendor. Nice guy that owns this collection. Uh, there's some uh, film cells. Donald Duck, and there's Pluto as well. Pluto yep, Pluto's over here. It's interesting, uh, Victorian furniture, Edwardian furniture, have come down in value dramatically. 15, 20 years ago, you couldn't buy these under two and a half thousand, three thousand dollars. So six to eight hundred dollars, it's a, a very good buy for uh, a young collector starting out. So it's good value. You can't go wrong buying this sort of furniture at these sort of prices, especially at auction. And look at the condition of it. It's a lovely scale. And estimations on those are only two to three hundred dollars. One thing I forgot to mention too, our catalogue will be online on our website uh, this coming Tuesday. Uh, we'll have full uh, descriptions and estimates in the catalogue. And also for uh, our overseas uh, buyers, if they require condition reports or more information, just email us through our website and we'll send them more photos or information. I don't think it'll sell well if we call it an elephant wine cooler. <laughs> I don't think the uh, demand will be as much. Black forest bear. There's the mama and there's the bubby. <laughs> you know, they're very expensive, especially in England. That's it. I've had enough. It's hard being a star. <laughs> Sold! Sold! Sold. Sold. Not sold. Sold.